the Republican Party has met their new vice presidential candidate, J.D. Vance, and he hopes his life story resonates with the populist, anti-establishment sentiment that's growing among conservatives. After all, it's what helped convince former President Trump that Vance is the right running mate in his third run for the White House. The RNC crowd in Milwaukee cheering on their party's new number two. I officially accept your nomination to be Vice President of the United States of America. 39-year-old Vance explaining how he defied the odds that came with a traumatic upbringing. Mamaw raised me as my mother struggled with addiction. Now, thanks to that mamaw, things worked out for me. Striking a nerve with the populist, anti-establishment sentiment motivating conservatives in 2024. From Iraq to Afghanistan, from the financial crisis to the Great Recession, from open borders to stagnating wages, the people who govern this country have failed and failed again. That is, of course, until a guy named Donald J. Trump came along. Vance has work ahead of him to become familiar to voters. According to a recent AP NORC poll taken before Trump announced him as a running mate, six in 10 Americans said they don't know enough about Vance to form an opinion about him. On Thursday, the last night of the convention, Vance, like much of the nation, will be closely watching Trump's first speech since he survived an assassination attempt. On Wednesday, Trump was seen here doing a walkthrough on the RNC stage, still bandaged on his right ear, where a bullet came close to ending his life. Even as Republicans are huddled here in Milwaukee, they're keeping a close eye on what's happening on the Democratic side. There are multiple reports that in recent days, both Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries have met privately with President Biden to tell him that if he stays in the race, it would compromise Democrats' ability to win seats in Congress. A Schumer spokesperson did deny those reports. In Milwaukee, I'm Atrel Nashar.